Hello everyone, Engineer627 here, back for another video, and in this video, I will be showing you how to hack your Nintendo DSi, um, basically how to get the homebrew menu. I will be making a playlist on more videos that will come after this for an end result that you can basically play any games you want, um, Nintendo games, but um, if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe, leave a like on this video, and comment down below if this video helped you out in any way. What you're going to need is a Nintendo DSi, of course, and you're also going to need a SD card. I recommend you get a 2GB one. Uh, I don't recommend making it any smaller, but any larger will be okay, except we could be running into issues if you do. If you do run into issues, please just leave a comment down below and I will help you fix it. If I also run into it, I will help you um, figure out how to fix it, but I do recommend getting a 2GB SD card. All right, so let's begin. So first thing you want to do is turn on your DS. Actually, no, turn off. I'm sorry. Turn off your S to your DS, and we're just gonna want to close it. Just so you know, this is not mine. Just barring this, I'm just gonna go ahead and stick the SD card in here. All right, just like that, and we're gonna go ahead and open it up again and turn it on. Just like that. I'm just going to want to activate it. Again, make sure you have your SD card in. Make sure you click on camera. And before you actually hit on camera, just you want to go back. Make sure that you click on SD card. And it's going to say creating new uh, file. And it's going to say photos taken zero. And then you want to click on camera to take a new photo. I'm just going to hit start here. Capture. So I just capture my, 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 fi my finger here. All right. And we're just going to want to quit out of that. Hit back. And now uh, if you look at album down here, it says photos taken one. So we can just go ahead and exit out of the camera app. By hitting exit and then clicking yes. And then after that, we can simply just go ahead and turn off our DS. And we can go ahead and remove our SD card. All right, I'll meet you over at the computer for the next part in the process. All right, so back on our computer with our SD card plugged in, you're just gonna want to come over here and make sure you have your SD card selected. And then you'll have these two folders here. So this folder is simply just the folder with our one photo here. And then you're going to have this private one. Now, this is a very important folder, but before we go any further, we're just going to want to check that we have a folder and you're going to make sure that you have this 484EA498A. Uh, uh, this, th this folder right here. Okay, so once you have this, you're going to want to go to the, both of the links in the description. One is the memory pit and one is the homebrew menu release. You're just going to want to come down over here and hit this pit.zip and you're just going to want to go ahead and hit that to download it. It'll just download here as a uh, folder. Don't worry about the one uh, that you have downloaded already. You want to come over here and download this bz. Dot, uh, dot bz2. Make sure it's the homer menu z0.71 and go ahead and select that and that should go ahead and download right there. All right, so now next what we're going to want to do is we're going to go to our downloads. And in our downloads right here, we're just going to want to go ahead and extract both of them. So we're just going to want to go ahead and open the homebrew menu. So you're just going to want to bo extract both of them. And I'll see you once I've done that. Okay, so now once we have both of the files extracted, we should have the HB menu 0.71. Don't worry about that one after both of these. That just means I already had them downloaded. And then the pit. Okay, so the next step in this is we're going to want to go ahead and go into this pit folder and we're going to want to go ahead and get into it. You'll see this pit.bin folder, just go ahead and click on it, right click on it and just go ahead and hit copy. All right, so now we have it copied. Now we're going to just want to go ahead and go to our private folder on our SD card, double click on DS, double click on app, and double click on 48 for yeah, that folder and what you're gonna see we are we are we, uh, 
we already have the pit.bin right here, but we're gonna want to go ahead and paste the new one. So we're just gonna go to control V and it's gonna say the destination already has a file named pitbin. You just wanna select replace the file in the destination and it should go extremely fast. So there we go. We have the pit.bin file replaced. All right, so the next step here is going to be to go back over to our folder here. All right, and we're gonna come into this HB menu. Now, we don't need any of this, okay? We don't need any of this except for this boot.nds. Here, I'm gonna go ahead and close. Except for this boot.nds file. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and drag and drop this onto the root of our SD card. So just plop that right onto there and give it a second for it to copy. And off we go ahead and select it, we have boot.nds. And that is all for on the computer. I'm gonna go ahead and meet you on the DS. Okay, so now once you've unplugged your SD card from your computer, you should go ahead and just go ahead and plug it into your DSi once again, like so. And just go ahead and boot it up. And I forgot to mention one more thing before you actually um, get this to work. It will not work unless you are on the newest um, firmware on the DS uh, Nintendo firmware, just to let you know, of course, it, like, the, the newest, the probably, it's old, but um, you should be on the 1.4.5 and then a letter after it. If you're not on 1.1.4.5, 1 you're just gonna come here to system update and just select that and then go through the steps, the process to just go ahead and update um, your console. I'm just going to go ahead and exit out. And now what we're going to do is we're just going to come over here and we're going to go back to our camera. And instead of going to our actual camera, we're just going to go to album. Make sure you have SD card selected because of course uh, the homebrew menu is our SD card. And we're just going to go ahead and select album. And now watch the magic happen. Now if we go ahead and select it, here we are in the homebrew menu dev kit pro and if you come right here you can see we have a dcim this is simply just a picture of course you can't see it but you can see all the folders here's the private folder um and here's the boot.nds now we'll be using this to install um other firmware for this to work this will not actually be the actual firmware but this is what you're going to need in order um, to get this to work so that's that's about it for this video if you enjoyed please don't forget to leave a like please don't forget to subscribe and yeah see you in the next video bye